Hi there. Now for this question then, we were given this recurrence relationship and told it was true for n greater than or equal to 1. And the first term was a1, which equaled k. So in part a, you had to find out what a2 was in terms of k. And in part b, you had to find out what the value of k was for this summation here to equal 66. And k turned out to be 4. So I'll just take you through this in case there were any problems. With the first one, OK, you can see that to get a2, all I need to do is set n equal to 1 here. So a2 would be equal to 4 times a1 minus 3. And then we just substitute what a1 is. It's k in here. So you get a2 equals 4k minus 3. So in part b, where given this result here, this summation, Always a good idea to expand this. This is simply a1 plus a2 plus a3, so it equals the 66 here. I've got the terms a1 and a2 in terms of k. We've got them already over here. But I need to get a3. So for a3, I just set n equal to 2 in this. So I get a3 equals 4 times a2 minus 3. So it's 4a2 minus 3. Substitute what a2 is in here, which is 4k minus 3. Expand and simplify, and we get that a3 equals 16k minus 15. I can substitute this now up into this equation here, along with a1 and a2, and get an equation in terms of k, which when evaluated, k turns out to be 4. Okay?